not possible at all to hold back bulls, especially the injured ones. The Indian ones were injured for a week and they came back very ferociously today. In fact, all the people who were packing their bags on Friday and leaving the stock market, they've decided to pause and stay back and try out one more time. That is because the Friday's fall was so severe, no one was even able to admit that their portfolios were down 4, 5, 6% in a single day. And for most people, the falls were exactly reversed today. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 28th October. And a topic that I've already discussed many times, but still there are many questions. I'll address that in the nugget section. Why I am still buying oil marketing companies when the results are so bad. Now Nifty today was in a good mood. Genuinely 14 stocks only down 36 up. ICIC results, the street liked them. That was rewarded up 3% best contributor for that day. Next was Adani Enterprises up 4%. Adani Enterprises has actually not joined this bull run at all ever since their controversy started. The next today was TCS, software was the best performing sector today of course, HUL, Sun Pharma. The results of Sun Pharma were fantastic and HUL has been beaten down so much that a short covering rally was due. Core India results were bad, this was on expected lines. This paves the way for good results for Adani Enterprises and Adani Ports. HDFC Bank was also down but not much. So was Access Bank, Bajaj Auto, Kotak Bank. Now there is news that auto sales are picking up in the festive season. Hopefully Bajaj Auto will start recovering now. It is 28% away from the 52 week highs. In the next 50, 16 stocks down 34 up. The rockstar today was Canara Bank up 7%. In fact the entire PSU Bank pack was on fire today. Indian Bank was up nearly 11%, PNB was up as well, that's here 3%, the NBFC, IRFC that was up 7%, BHEL up, DLF up, Bank of Padoda 4.3%. What was down, Indigo was punished, 8% down, Chola Mandalam was next followed by JSW Energy, Torrent Pharma and ABB continues to bleed. The graph looks so much better. When the bulls are around, best sector software followed by metals, banking was third, oil and gas was green, so was auto, power pack also was green today. Investment banking continues to be the best sector in terms of investor returns. It was rocking today also and we'll talk about it. Look at banking today. Bandhan Bank, the streets like the results, Indian Bank was up 11% as well. I have not checked yet if this is results, but yes, I own the stock, so I am happy. Canara Bank up 7%, IRFC 7%, fantastic volumes for the entire pack nearly. But HDFC is the only green stock and in the oil pack, there is not a single green. Oil marketing companies tried to stand tall today as and crude has cracked below $72 today. That is gold mine for oil marketing companies. This dashboard is now nifty top 15 stocks. HDFC Bank and Airtel a little down but the markets will take it. That is because the overall other stocks were looking really really good. ICIC Bank 3% up on double the usual volumes. And both Nifty, Bank Nifty stayed above the line with an upward slope whole day. Reliance and TCS had similar graph. Now look at the comical aspect. IDFC was punished for its bad results. It hit a 52 week low at the first tick. But since markets were up, it went up. It closed in the green. 6x volumes, 3% up on the day when it hit a 52 week low on the first tick of the day. Only three banks did not do well today, HDFC, Axis, Kotak, rest everything was up. IRFC, PFC, Bank of Badoda, PNB, in fact PNB was up lot more, it came down towards the end. So did Indusind, so did SBI, Canara Bank up continuously, Indian Bank shot up towards the second half of the day. Now IT pack may not look that exciting in this graph. That is because the percentages were not huge, but it is a heavyweight sector. It contributed most and was the best sector of the day. Stocks in the IT pack are closest to their 52 week high. In fact, there are four stocks already in the green zone. Auto today was actually looking good. 
Maruti a little down and Bajaj Auto was down 2%. But Tata Motors was up, Mahindra was up, Aichar Motors was up. Amar Raja shot up 6.5%, even Excide was up in the ancillary. Seems like a fantastic short covering rally today. No such luck for the defense pack, the smaller companies were up. But HAL, BL, Solar Industries, Musgaon Dock, the big boys, they were all down. Another sector that was fantastic today was Metal, JSW Steel up 3%, Hindustan Zing 3.3%, Tata Steel up, Vedanta, Hindalco. The best gains were in Hindustan Copper, not a single red. I still hold Radico but I sold Associate Alcohol a while back that was up 8%. And the stock which I own a lot, that was down a percent, were on beverages. Otherwise, the edible consumption pack was looking good. Mrs. Bacter was up a lot earlier in the day, but then it cooled down a bit. This was around 7-8% up. This stock has gone up a lot, but it is still 26% away from the recent high. An year back, would anyone believe that Titan could be in the red zone? It was the darling of stock market for nearly two decades. Today, HUL was up 2%, Titan up, Asian Paints up. But the overall sentiment was looking slightly weakish. Suddenly, the 52-week highs which were nearly happening on a daily basis, say in Page Industries, DMART, Trent, all those have gone. All these stocks are reasonably away from their 52-week highs now. And we are talking probably about a week back, maybe 10 days. And no such problem for the investment banking back, while the distance is still there to 52 week highs, but the sector was looking awesome today. BSC up 3%, Mutilal Oswal good results 5.3% up, CDSL up 4.6%, Angel 1 2.4%. In fact, the results for KFIN, CAMS, all these companies came after market hours. The results were good and this sector should be rocking tomorrow also. NTPC got the nod for the IPO of NTPC Green that was up 1.2%. This stock should shoot more tomorrow. Power Grid and Tata Power were up, Adani Green down, Adani Power up, Adani Energy up. Suzlon as soon as markets improved is back to upper circuits. A sigh of relief for most people today. Nifty, Bank Nifty up 0.7% Nifty IT up. The gains in these indices are not as big as the falls last week. But the stocks were up a lot. And today for a change, these were stocks that retail owns. FIs continued with their business. They sold another 3000 crores. DIs are running out of money. They are not able to match FIs now. But it is a 3-day problem. The SIPs will come back on 1st or 2nd. And retail also will get their salaries in two days time. Today, ATEL's results were fantastic. Net profit nearly triples. Sun Pharma's results came during market hours. Q2 net profit jumps 28%. Beats expectations. That's a keyword. It jumped up immediately as soon as the news was out. REC's results came over the weekend. Net profit up 6%. Net interest income surges 21%. And now it should hopefully get in an uptrend that I've been expecting for a while from REC and PFC. KFIN's results were good. CAM's results were better. The net profit for CAM surges 44%. The net profit for KFIN rose 11%. But the revenue was up similar numbers, 34%, 32% for both companies. They are competitors, but they are creating a 50-50 JV for the mutual fund business. The market liked it. These two stocks should go up a lot more probably if the market remains up. Today gold was up 78,500, silver came back as well 97,500, Bitcoin 69,000, Brent has cracked below 72 today. Look at US markets, the euphoria before the elections, the streets are super excited. Now, within this pack of about 8 companies, 4 have donated more to Donald Trump, 4 to Kamala Harris. So, even this pack is not decided on whom to support. But all of them are dancing in the green. No whiteboards required, but it was a buy day today. Fusion Microfinance hit a upper circuit today. 
seems like there is some buying coming in the microfinance in the oversold territory so i averaged lower on satin not on fusion microfinance yet in any case it was on upper circuit i bought ioc because i knew that the results will not be good but they're kind of priced in let's see what the street does tomorrow i was expecting kfin to give good results so for trading reasons one day two day i bought kfin i bought bsc because it is looking good and it is still away from 52 week high i bought more of ntpc there should be some money on the table because of the ntpc green ipo not and in any case ntpc i wanted to have in the long term portfolio also and i bought mrs bector but it fell a lot as soon as i bought it option wise profitable day in nifty airtel in fact airtel i took another position which is slightly in loss right now open i bought reliance which is in loss right now i bought sun pharma i had the results because i ran out of money for the cash segment so i just bought some call options for sun pharma this is in good profit airtel's results are good so hopefully they should give profit i'll have to do something about reliance tomorrow or book the losses overall a green day as well as investment day so there are three sources for crude in the country right now primarily russia middle east and iran this is raw crude which enters india via ships then it goes to refiners there are several of them reliance has refinery in jamnagar then indian oil corporation for example in panipat oil india has one in nomaligarh and few more so there are a bunch of them all the oil marketing companies also have their own refineries these refineries take the crude as input produce diesel petrol kerosene gas and a lot more so for example atf high speed diesel all these are various products coming out of the cracking process of petroleum and some of these players have specialties for example mrpl has good grip on atf and high speed diesel all the stock that is produced that is stored in very large containers you might have seen them on highways and in certain cities like panipat and companies like reliance they also export a lot of that outside that is why government levies windfall tax whenever it feels that these companies should not be exporting but saving the finished product for consumption in india so that prices don't go up and we don't run out of stock and typically companies have to buy at least 2 3 months in advance that's a forward contract they draw to bring in predictability so when elections were happening expensive crude came in it was refined the product was created this goes to petrol pumps for selling this should have ideally gone up because the price here was going up that was not allowed that is why in this entire cycle this part the profitability went down so that is why last quarter was not good what is happening right now this price has gone down since about last a month two months so the 70 dollar that you saw today that will not be the price at which the crude will land in india tomorrow that will be the price for crude that will land in india probably one and a half two months three months down the line now when this crude was somewhere around 75 77 these refiners they bought lot of crude lot more than what they needed whatever demand was there in market that was sold on petrol pumps or exported outside of india whatever was left that was stored in these big barrels in these cities as a buffer or overflow zone or as a strategic reserve now the money for this is already paid as expense the money for selling this has not been realized as sales this is lying somewhere in the country as reserves or inventory so this quarter if demand is high or maybe there is a opportunity to export this inventory would be used up as soon as crude prices start going up a little companies will probably use the stock and not buy and exhaust the inventory so next one or two quarters one quarter should be bumper for that bumper quarter i am holding these companies or buying more in any case the dividend yield for most of these stocks is good i think ioc is around 8% bpcl is around 6% dividend yield is going to be good if the prices are favorable and there is profit on the table for these companies both government and me love dividend yield hope this was useful thanks for watching i will see you tomorrow